Ladies and gentlemen, once again welcome back to our channel and today I am presenting a small presentation on COBOL data types. And in this presentation I'll explain what are the different categories of data type and how exactly you can define these data types in your program. So before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. Apart from that, I would like to say a big thanks to each one of you who have already subscribed to our channel and please do watch this video till the end because the last section of this presentation has a sample COBOL program that showcased the definition and usage of COBOL data type and edit picture clause. So let's begin with introduction. So what is a data type? In layman term, a data type is an attribute of data which tells the compiler how the programmer intend to use the data. Clearly, data types are generally used to classify the data whether it is a numeric value or is it a string value. In COBOL, basically you have three types of data type. First one is numeric that can only store uh, digits from 0 to 9. Then you have alphanumeric that can store your numeric data as well as your string data. Apart from that, you have third category which is known as alphabetic that can only store uh, characters from A to Z. There are two subcategories of uh, data type in COBOL which is generally known as edit picture clause. So first one is edit numeric and edit alphanumeric. So these two categories are generally used to reformat the data and generally they are used for reporting or just displaying value on the screen. So now let's move on to next section uh, where we'll discuss about variable, literal and constants. Now let's talk about variable. So a variable is a data item and its value can change during a program. And always remember there is a restriction that a value can change as per the data type. For example, if you have defined a numeric item, so that means it can only have a numeric value. But in case if you have defined as an alphanumeric, so it can have both numeric and non-numeric value. Similarly, for example, if you if you see uh, the variable that is a customer name, so it is defined as x of 20, that's alphanumeric. So it can have both numeric and non-numeric data and the sizes of 20. A literal is a character string whose value is given by the character themselves. For example, in this case, Murphy is being assigned to customer name. Constant. A constant is a data item that has only single value throughout the program. And it is defined in the similar fashion. There is no specific way of defining a constant in COBOL. The only thing is that you need to use value clause to assign a specific value to that particular variable that you are treating as a constant in your program. So now let's move on to next section that is data type in details. So by now you have already understood what is a variable constant and a literal. So now let's see how you can define that uh, in, in your COBOL program. So basically uh, a COBOL data name or a variable are user defined words. So these are memory locations that are defined in the data division uh, or in a procedure division, right? And in order to define their data name, you need three specific things. First one is the level number. Second thing is picture clause in order to define the data type. And the third important thing is value clause to assign the initial value to that particular variable. An important point that you should always remember while defining the variable name is that you can use letters, numbers, and hyphen. And at max, you can have only 30 characters in each name. And you should never start your variable name with a digit. Now let's move on to the next section which is coding rules and then we'll discuss about the edit picture clause. So COBOL is a high level programming language and hence the COBOL program has to be written in a specific format so that it can be processed by a compiler. Right. So each line in COBOL is actually divided into 80 equal columns right so each position has a significant meaning so position number one to six is actually used for sequence number position number seven is actually used for including your comment so you need to just include asterisk over there and then you can include the comment related to your logic or to the paragraph position number eight to eleven is area a which is used to define the sections Position number 12 to 72 is generally known as area B where you define the paragraph names and other COBOL statements. Position number 73 to 80 is 
referred to as identification area and this area is uh, optional and it's not used very often these days generally it is being used to tag your changes now let's move on to the next section which is level numbers COBOL level numbers are generally used to specify the hierarchy of data within a record a level number is an integer value between 1 to 49 and there are three special level numbers that is 66 77 and 88 now let's see all these uh, level numbers in detail so level number 01 is actually used for record description right level number 2 to 49 is used to define fields within a record level number 1 or 77 are generally used to define independent items level number 66 is used for COBOL rename clause and we'll have a separate video on that and last level 88 is actually used for conditional names so we'll talk about that in a separate video now let's move on to next section that is COBOL picture clause the COBOL picture clause is used to define the data type and the storage size of a data item it is denoted by picture or pic and it is only used to define elementary data item you should never use picture clause to define a group variable because it will give you a compilation error now let's look at all the picture clause and the description so for alphabetic you normally use a for alphanumeric you use x for numeric data types you normally use 9 and in order to include sign uh, to a numeric value you should use s and v is generally used to have a decimal and this is an implicit decimal so it's not uh, taking any space now let's move on to the next section that is cobol value clause the cobol value clause is used to specify the initial value for the data item and it is optional and it depends on the programmer so if you want to assign any default value to a variable when you're defining that in a working storage section so so you'll use value clause to assign that particular value and you can use this value clause to assign numeric non-numeric or figurative constants for example in this case i have specified a variable name that is ws hyphen name and i've used picture clause to specify the data type and x is an alphanumeric data type and the size of this field is 10 and I've used a value clause to assign initial value as topic to this particular variable. So ladies and gentlemen, till now you have learned what is a variable, what is a literal and uh, what is a constant, how you can define that in COBOL and how can you assign values. So till now if you have any questions then please do write that in comment section and I'll respond back to your question after this presentation. So now let's move on to the next section that is data name examples so in this section I have given four different examples so that you can understand how exactly you can define these variables how can you use a value clause and how can you use a picture clause so the first example is I've used a level number as 01 to define an individual data item so WS hyphen name so WS actually rep represent our working storage variable it depends on you you can use something else as per your requirement pick is used to define the data type that is a picture and x is actually uh, i hope you remember x is normally used for alphanumeric and the size is 10 and i've used a value clause to assign a initial value topic to this particular variable similarly if you see the next example this is a group variable which is actually uh, holding uh, first name and last name and a salary of an employee right and in the similar fashion if you see WS hyphen cell so this is actually a salary uh, uh, this is a variable which would be holding the salary uh, amount of an employee and uh, I've used zeros to initialize the variable so zero is a figurative constant so I'll explain uh, what exactly are the figurative constant in a separate video in the third example I've used uh, again uh, 77 and 01 level number to define individual data item and in the last example basically I have used uh, level 88 which is generally used for conditions 
so the default value of ws hyphen switch uh, variable is n and i would be using this uh, variable as a boolean variable the way you use in other programming language so it can have uh, value as y and n but that depends on in case if my file do not have any record or if my file has record so i'll going to change the value of this particular field interchangeably in my procedure division based on uh, my logic now let's move on to next section which is edit picture clause so cobol edited picture clause are a special picture clause that are used to format the data in a desired format for example you want to print the check amount on a report or you want to include a currency symbol before actual transaction amount right so there are two general methods of uh, editing in a picture clause so first one is insertion where you would be including an additional symbol for example euro pound or debit credit as per your requirement and second thing is suppression or replacement where you will be replacing or just removing uh, any specific value that you don't want to display on report or screen so let's discuss insertion first and then we'll talk about suppression and replacement so cobol insertion is where you are including an additional character or a symbol into an existing value and it is generally divided into four different categories first one is simple insertion, then you have a special insertion then you have fixed insertion and the last one is floating insertion right and if you look at the examples which i have given out here so there are three different variable first one is uh, ws tax amount second one is ws total amount and third one is ws int hyphen rt so that will going to reformat the date and if you look at the output when i just pass 8317 so it has displayed as 8,317 and similarly when i pass the check amount as 317 so it just displayed dollar asterisk asterisk 317.00 and similarly like it's printing the date as 12 25 2020 right so similarly you can use these uh, editable picture clause for reporting or for displaying value on the screen now let's move on to next section that is uh, replacement and suppression so for replacing or suppressing a specific value on screen or on report you can use uh, editable data type as z or asterisk right and if you look at the example uh, that is w uh, ws hyphen int hyphen rte so this is actually having as a picture clause as asterisk 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 and when i just pass a value as 0 so it has just suppressed that so you are having asterisk in the output so similarly you can use uh, z to suppress certain values now let's move on to uh, the last section of this presentation and that is uh, uh, actual program explanation and how you can use this uh, normal data type and editable uh, picture clause for generating reports or formatting data on the screen so finally we have reached the last uh, section of this presentation and let me just quickly explain the entire structure of a program and what the data types or the editable picture clause that i've used in this particular program so again if you see the first section that is an identification division which is used for documentation then you have environment division that is normally used to specify um, environment related uh, details then the third one is data division so in this section you normally specify the file details but i'm not using any file so i've just left it blank but uh, in working storage section i've just defined couple of fields because this video is based on a data type and editable picture clause so if you see the first first one is ws employee name which is actually a group variable which is holding first name and last name of an employee and the second example is of an edit picture clause which is actually holding your salary amount check amount date formatting then you have rt description then you have plus sign uh, description ws plus sign and the last one is ins blk so if you see the this is how you can define the editable picture clause and if you come down to the procedure division which is actually having a logic so in the first paragraph that is uh, 010 move data so i'm just moving these values to these particular variables that i've defined in the working storage section and this next paragraph that is 020 print data so it's actually printing the data in this pool if you're running this program on mainframe and if you're running on windows platform so it'll just going to print that data in in that in the window itself 
right and if you see the right hand side so this is the output of the program so the name of employee would be printed as Roger Murphy then the first editable picture clause is showing as 129 comma 956 similarly the check amount is being printed with a dollar sign asterisk asterisk and the actual amount similarly date is being formatted by inserted forward slash Similarly, if you just look at the fifth example where we have explicitly introduced the plus sign. So in case if it's a negative value, so it will display negative, otherwise it will display plus. And similarly on example six, where you will see uh, there's a two spaces in between topic trick. But if you see in the program, we do not provide it any space. So this marks an end to our today's presentation and I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. And in case if you have any feedback or question, then please do write that in the comment section. We're going to respond back to your questions after this presentation. And we're going to incorporate your feedback in our uh, next videos. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching this particular video and stay safe. Thank you.